I was a criminal defense lawyer for almost 20 years, most of which was spent defending people charged with really serious crimes, murder, robbery, rape, drug cases, and that eventually takes its toll. After two first degree murder cases, back to back within a four month period, I was physically and emotionally drained. I needed to do something else. And so I searched and searched, and eventually, after five years of praying, chocolate came to me. We make chocolate from the bean, and some say from bean to bar. The point is to go back to the origin, to meet with the farmers, and to have that relationship with them, and then bring all of that, all of that relationship, put it in the chocolate, and then give it to the people who love our chocolate. That's why it's important for us to make chocolate from scratch, to make it from the bean, so that we can cut out all the layers in between that we possibly can. So within a few months of that epiphany, I was in the Amazon. I like that sense of adventure. I love the extreme. It's very hot, it's very humid, the places are hard to get to. But then I can tell you that I've been there, I can tell you what the farmers are like, and what the town is like, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I stayed here in Springfield. I want to be able to influence the taste of the chocolate. And I, the only way to be able to influence the taste of the chocolate is to have a direct relationship with these farmers. People are interested in the narrative because if they're going to put it in their bodies, then they just want to know, hey, who, who are the people who, who crafted this? Who are the people who grew this? It's interesting to them. I want to know who these farmers are. And I went there and literally handed them cash as a profit share, what we call a stake in the outcome program. You can't run a business that claims to share with farmers and then not share with the community and especially the neighborhood. As a company, we try to have an impact in the community where we can. And so what we did is we picked one thing. One block from here, just one block this way, is the Missouri Hotel. It's Springfield, Missouri's largest homeless shelter. And on any given night, there are 75 to 80 kids spending the night in the Missouri Hotel. Many of those kids go to school two blocks this way at Boyd Elementary School. I wanted those kids to be exposed to this chocolate. The kids come here and then they have class in their own classroom I'm talking about entrepreneurship, language, culture, all of these things that are related to chocolate and then also broadening their world view. God gave me an opportunity uh, just a little gift, not that the chocolate is God's gift to the world, because it isn't, but it was a little gift to me, because in my law career I spent a lot of years thinking about nothing but winning, and I don't think about that as much now. The success of this business is not going to be reflected in a balance sheet. The success of this business is going to be when other companies come to me and say, how do we implement a stake in the outcome program? What can we do? And also when the children from Chocolate University come back to me 10 years from now or 15 years from now and say, hey, give me some advice on how to start my own business. That's going to be success for me.